Hey Tom, what's going on? Thanks for uh, joining my Facebook there, and I got your message. Sorry, it took a it took a second. I, I don't really get on Facebook too much, uh, but uh, I I appreciate you uh, asking me the uh, question and giving me a lot of material to work with to, to see what you you are uh, you're working with here. So it's a 16 by 50 tree. Uh, those pixels, right? You said string, but I'm sure. You're talking pixels because there's strips and then there's the pixels like I have but uh, it really doesn't make a difference uh, either way I'm gonna help you out um, so <clears throat> uh, your frustration is you purchased the oh holy night sequence and it's an LMS format after reading the manual watching up to 20 different videos on how to convert to LOR None of the elements will appear in my system. I did a new sequence musical, added the soundtrack, no problems. Got beats and bars in some. Tries tried convert match the universes and lines. This box check, that one off, and all tries and stuff and uh, okay. I think I think what you're doing is is something that almost screwed me in the end. The first thing is, um, go to this website that's been on my page right here for a while, and you can purchase sequences for 50 bucks for your tree. You can go to Christmas sequences. It says ribbon, but that depends. If you have the LOR, which you don't because you said Holiday Coro, you bought the 16 by 50. So just uh, select like E131, I think, is what they output. The data output is for that anyway and that's the data output for mine um, as you can see um, there's a lot of sequences here to choose from and it's the best website on the planet so that's where you can buy them but your question is once you buy them you don't want to waste your money because you don't you know you can't get them to work anyway so I'm assuming that you went ahead and you updated to uh you updated the x lights you're not using like some kind of 2004 x lights or something like that right i would recommend that you update mine is probably already outdated uh by a couple versions because they update it constantly my version up here in the top is 2016.51 so that's my a version of X lights so that might help another thing that's going to help you dude is if you notice uh, in my multicast I have like channel uh, I mean universe 1 and then I don't have 512 here this this will screw you in the end dude do not put 512 in there I know you can go up to 512 but that leaves one bulb that's going to flicker in your light display because it only has one channel assigned to it. So that assign all three channels to every every bulb. Every bulb has red, green, and blue. And when they're all on, it's white. We don't count that as a channel because you got red, green, and blue. I think you already know this. You seem like you know what you're doing. Um, but this this was one of the things that screwed me that nobody has ever mentioned was uh, do not put 512 as being your universe in the channels on it because when it pops over to the next universe when it goes from seven the next one is going to be like one channel the next bulb is going to be one channel so it's always going to just stay one color or when it calls for red it'll only be red when it calls for green, it won't do anything. And, and then, you know, down, down. So that's that's something right there that's going to help you out. Once you do get the thing up and running and out there in your front yard, you're going to notice uh, flickering light bulbs and, and just crap that you just, you're just going to want to tear up your tree. Trust me, I almost, almost took a chainsaw to mine. It was frustrating. And then I was like, oh, you know what? There's... Oh, that's how many channels I need. Oh, you know, and then once I put everything 510, everything worked. 
everything worked. Everything was perfect. So just don't don't use the last two channels. Two channels is not going to do anything. I mean, it's just going to mess you up. So use 510. Makes it an even number for a strip of 50 or a strip of 100s or whatever. And that that's the first thing I have to tell you, man. But uh, without making this video too long, and, and you really probably already know this, uh, but in case you didn't, there you go. Um, so yeah, you said you tried the import. You're on the right track there, uh, man. You really are. So let's say I download a sequence, right? <clears throat> and I'll show you what this looks like from start to finish. So I download a sequence, right? New musical sequence. I got to find my music. Uh-oh. It's going to be an X slide something. <laughs> Downloaded sequences or something. Dude. Ah, oh, cats are irritating as hell. They're fighting. Anyway. Sorry. Um downloaded sequences mp3s so you want to kind of consolidate your stuff here and uh let's see if i uh if i could do this without overriding mine so what i'm going to do is most wonderful time of the year because i haven't done this one yet so oh of course, you've opened your media file, right? And I, I just select the 25 milliseconds. I don't do quick start. Um, here, another thing. Oh, well. I, okay, just hit done. Hit done. Now, if you've made all your elements in your layout, like I have here, I'm not going to use all these. So, but I'm going to sequence them for future shows if I decide to hook up the elements. They're there, and I can change the channel numbers to match what I want to do with these. Okay, this is irrelevant information, and I'm going to put a skip to the answer to your question. But I want to make sure that I do like a full, give you all the information here, guy. All right. Um, so, yeah, again, with the 510 channels, that's, that's, uh, that's crucial. So... Once you have uh, opened that, right, you've opened this, right? I always click on my mega tree. I always click on my mega tree. I don't know why, just as, I don't know, insurance. You don't have to, but import, import settings. I think you said you did this, but use this top menu, import settings. You're going to then go to where you downloaded uh the X light sequences. So in my case, it's here, and these are the downloaded sequences for the um, that website I just showed you. I get sub files and I get LMS files. I get both LMS and sub files, and you can switch over from the two here. So it gives you two different types of files. And mine was uh, most wonderful time of the year, so I'm going to select that that I want to import to my tree. Once I hit that, this should say on yours 16, not 12 like mine, and this should say 50. Okay? Then you're going to select what where you want to import these effects to, so that would be your mega tree. And just leave everything else the same. This should already say 16 and 50 if you've set it up in your layout as a 16 by 50 tree. So you hit OK. And then it asks you, it asks you to where do you want to uh, export all the uh, picture files. Because there's going to be like pictures and effect files. I'm just going to name this one Demo. And you just put in a file that says demo, and you can my f most wonderful time of year. Most wonderful time of year. And then hit save. 
and it does import them on mine. I don't know if this is happening on yours, but it does. Let me turn down the sound because when I hit play, it's going to blow. It is probably going to blow. It is probably still going to, even that. But uh, when I hit play, nothing happens. Nothing happens in my preview. And this is what I really wanted to show you. And that, that is loud as hell. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do that again because I don't know how to turn it. Oh, that keeps popping. Ah, keeps popping all over the place. Here we go. So, you see my elements are there? See? It, it looks like there's bare minimum, but then you hit the plus sign and there's a lot of effects. Um, but nothing happens. <laughs> So that's what's happening? Is that what's happening? No. It's just past 11. Check this out. Hit render all. That's your answer. I could have made, you know, I could have made this video shorter. <laughs> Probably 11 minutes and 15 seconds shorter. But once you hit render all, um, I'm going to have to blow out your eardrums to turn it down. Well, something's happening. That's your problem, man. You have to render when you import these and the effects do show up. You have to render uh, those effects. And you can do it one or two w ways. What I've always done to be on the safe side, I've hit render all. There's a little bar down here by downloaded X lights folder, blah, 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 that appears. And it shows you the progress. And then, after you hit render, go ahead and save that sequence and and hit save. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to override anything that I've already done. Um, but that's probably your problem right there, guy. I'm sorry it took about like 12 minutes to explain, but I, hopefully I'll put in some extra, you know, uh, things that will help you out. Like the holidaysequencing.com, uh, the 510 uh, channels. That, that will screw you up. Uh, it will screw you up. Uh, and sometimes it won't screw you up. It, it depends on your whole layout. But I've never had any success going from the 500 channels from one universe over to the next universe. And then that bulb is just sitting there flickering and off color and stuff. And it, it runs the whole show. So just drop the two channels, man. There's no, there's no point in keeping two channels around. So uh, hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully this really helped you out. So um, uh, thanks for watching my videos, man. And thanks for, uh, you know, getting on my uh, Facebook and stuff. And I really appreciate it, Tom. You have a great night uh, or day or morning or sir or wherever you're from. And uh, <laughs> it's night here. But um, you have a good one, man. Thanks for watching.